good win. Uh, two scrappy teams battling out there. I thought you know, Stanford did a great job battling and competing. They set a tone early, uh, really executing. I thought we were a step slow early in the game. I give those guys credit making plays. We knew it would be a tough, uh, we thought it would really be a tough matchup with Roscoe and Ivan Gordon. Roscoe is a, uh, Ivan's a traditional big guy. Really trying to defend Roscoe is not an easy, easy task. Um, I thought Ivan did a really good job, especially in the second half, of just trying to battle and keep him in front of Because it's not an easy thing to do with a big guy. Six, nine goes off the dribble and make plays. So we felt like some had to give that either, either Roscoe would dominate the game or Ivan would dominate on the other end or trade baskets. But again, Ivan did a great job in the second half really battling. I thought Cameron Rooks played really well, but he continues to play well. And you can see that in practice, so I'm not surprised by that. But I think the biggest key now, offensively, keeping balls alive. You know, when we played at third place, you watch on film, he fumbled four or five balls, put back balls. We thought we had an opportunity to score on it. We didn't come up with him. This time he comes up with the ball, score the basket. Uh, just was a great presence around the rim, putting pressure on that big guy. So, again, a great team effort and a good win for our guys. Any questions? Cameron has been through a lot. His career was going to be, you know, uh, toward, toward the ACL last season. Well, I think you, you, you like to see guys play well, especially with guys that comes off injuries, because I know what that feels like. Um, but also see the work that he puts in. Um, it's not like a guy just goes out there and says, okay, I'll get what I get. He puts a, a lot of work into his game. He's one of those guys that he changes shirts halfway through practice because he's so exhausted and, and sweating because he competes at a high level. So to see see Cam play well is a credit to his work, but also as a coach, you're happy to see because you know what he does and, and how much time he puts into it. But I mean, it feels good. I'm happy for him. Sam had a minus two turnovers. You talk about this working there. did a great job outside those last two turnovers late in the game. But other than that, I thought he did a really good job running the team, finding guys. Uh, you know, Sam has to be aggressive because he can make plays. But the next phase for Sam is attacking the rim to make plays at the basket for himself. And I think when he does that, he puts more pressure on the defense and it helps other guys do what they need to do. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised at nine assists. If Sam's aggressive and he's locked in, I mean, he'll be in the ballpark six, seven, eight, nine assists a game. Coach, uh, Roger gave you some yes. very productive defense minutes today. How does this uh, affect your defense? Well, I like guys that play defense. The guys know that Roger battles, he competes, he plays extremely hard. The, the next phase for Roger is consistently playing defense over the course of time without fouling. Uh, he gets costly fouls. He's wrestling guys a lot, but he's aggressive. So that's a plus. But we've got to really work with him, consistently work with him on not fouling, playing defense, because he puts a lot of pressure on guys when he's defending them because he moves his feet, he moves his feet, he box out well, he plays hard, he runs the floor. And when he's making his three-point shot, He's a presence for us on the offensive side of the ball. Going back to the, the last time you guys played Stanford, did you want to be more aggressive in this one? It seems like you guys got the foul line a lot. Is that a big part of your game plan? Well, we always well. want to be aggressive. I just thought at that place, we, we, we didn't play well. And just, we, we have to, I mean, I, the, the, those are some of the road woes for our team. Uh, but, but you always want to be aggressive. But, but the biggest key, again, we talked about it more than anything. Our big guys had to win the game. That's where the game would be won on the blocks, meaning our big scoring around the rim and getting, getting those guys in foul trouble or Roscoe's making plays and we have to make adjustments. So I felt like we did a good job from that standpoint. Our big guys really putting pressure on those guys and forced them to do something defensively. 16 turnovers, Conzo, is that like the one negative maybe? It's been, it's, that's been the negative. Uh, in this case, you get careless with the ball. You got to lead you up. You have to take care of the ball consistently and just. We'll continue to work at it and just taking pride in doing it. Uh, some of those were bad turnovers and just watching, you know, late in the game when you're up. You have to take care of the ball and do the right things. Yeah. Is it, and I know you, you are going to have to figure out the red dribble at some point, but is it kind of nice that you guys can get a little bit of rhythm at home now? Well, I think so. I just think on the road. I mean, again, it's, we, we hadn't gone into a game on the road and said, man, we're outmatched. We've got to figure out a way to just make it close. I mean, when you saw it late in the game, probably the last four minutes of this game, that's what happens on the road. Turnovers, quick shots, not taking care of the basketball, giving up easy baskets. And I said it to our bench in a nutshell. This is us on the road right here. And, and it's because you, you will defend at a level and we'll do our job defense. We'll do the things we need to do, but you can't have those type of turnovers. Uh, but fortunately for us, we're at home. Uh, 
but but you can't do. You have to take care of the ball. You have to take good shots, uh, make right plays. You got you can't turn the ball over, throwing the ball in the post to po with post feeds. That can't happen. I mean, it's all those little things. They add up. All of a sudden, you're down six on the road, and then you got to make a key stop, a key play. That's what happens. Is the difference really focus and concentration on a different environment? Or a better word, probably mental toughness. Mental toughness. I mean, that's what it comes down to: having discipline, uh, to be consistent, executing the assignments, uh, completing box outs, uh, taking care of the basketball, getting the ball where it needs to go offensively. The guys hot, keep rolling with them. Uh, understanding what you need to do with your weak side defense, and we double the post. Weak side guys get off and do your job, but that's it. It's just mental toughness. When the crowd gets loud, also we got we got to get stronger. Got to get mentally tougher, and then you're okay. You guys good? Awesome. You had to figure with the young team some stuff was going to be slow for the long. How, how would you say things are compared to maybe what you had envisioned? Well, I think there's there's so many unknowns. Because what what happens on the surface, you, you you get two talented young guys, you just assume something. Uh, you know, as a coach, you have to be careful how you say everything you say. But you, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, and, I, and I'll leave it at that, really, because it's it's, it's a hard, hard game. Uh, experience, understanding how to play, how hard you have to play, mentally tough taking care of the basketball, value and possessions, all that comes into play, uh, and that takes time.